it's April and welcome to my toy world. Today I'm here to share with you a fun new advent calendar by Playmobil, the Horses of Waterfall Playmobil advent calendar. I am so excited to see what figures come in this new Playmobil advent calendar. It looks like a beautiful winter scene with horses and animals and a really fun sleigh. So let's go ahead and check out the Horses of Waterfall Playmobil Advent Calendar. In this video today, I will be opening up this entire advent calendar. So if you have this Playmobil Advent Calendar and you want to be surprised, you might want to wait to watch this video until later because I will be opening up this entire advent calendar so we can see what's inside. So this is the front of the box and you can see the Christmas scene here with a lot of different animals and things like that. And here's what it looks like on the back. It shows this cardboard scene that you can set up and then some of the accessories that we can open up in this advent calendar. So I'm gonna go ahead now and get this opened up and we can start opening the individual days of this advent calendar. Here's the bottom of the box. You can see some of the different little items that come in this advent calendar. So there are the pictures of what is supposed to be inside this advent calendar. And let's go ahead and take a look at the advent calendar. Here is what it looks like. You can see all the different numbered days. Each one will open up and there will be a prize behind it, a Playmobil piece to add to our scene. This is the backdrop. I'll go ahead and get this opened up and built right now. The backdrop unfolds like this and here are the instructions that we have to put it together. This booklet also tells a little bit of the story of the Horses of Waterfall. So here's how we'll put that together. Go ahead and do that. Here's more of the instructions. It's nice that they include instructions on how to put this together. And then it shows what you get on each of the different days and how to put that together. So I'm gonna get this put together and come back to show you what it looks like. Okay, so putting the backdrop together was a little bit tricky. You might need a little bit of help, but it isn't, uh, if you play around with it a little bit, you can get it. You have to weave this secondary piece in the front and in the back here so that it kind of loops around the back and creates a three-dimensional tree scene here. We've got a snowman and a barn here with a loft, which I think is pretty fun. So we've got that all put together and we're ready to put some of our items on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and shift this to the side and we'll find day one of our advent calendar. Here is day one. Let's go ahead and open up day one and see what we find. Here is day one and we have a character here. And let's go ahead and open it up and get her on the background. It looks like she's all ready for the snow and she's got a snow hat here to wear outside in the wintry air. That's cute. I love her little outfit here. She's got a cute sweater and a scarf on. It looks like gloves and winter boots. So here she is. She can sit here in our scene. And now let's find day two. Day two is way up here on the top of the calendar. And day two, oh, this is so cute. Day two is this adorable dog. It looks like a maybe a St. Bernard. You can open and close the mouth and move its head up and down. So here is her dog. That is adorable. Perfect dog for a wintry day. So there is number two, a wonderful dog. Now let's find day three. Here we have day three. Okay, there's day three. And let's see, got a little tiny pack here. And it looks like a hat and a bone maybe. So there we have a bone. I'm assuming that's for the dog here. That's cute, and a hat here. That's nice. We'll set that down there until we need it. And now for day four. And day four is another animal. It is a fox. Oh, I love this fox. That is so exciting. Wow, how cute. A wintry fox. We'll put the fox out by the trees since they live out in the forest. 
And one thing that I was reading about the horses of Waterfall, the town of Waterfall is supposed to be in the Sierra Nevadas of California. So that's pretty exciting. And then just like the new Wildtopia line, the horses of Waterfall are also made of recycled materials. So it says they're constantly improving their products to create more sustainable future. And our new horses of Waterfall products are part of that improvement process and are made with more than 80% recycled and bio-based materials on average. So this is a new series, Horses of Waterfall. And it sounds like they're making them a lot like the Wildtopia toys. That's exciting. So now let's find day five. Day five is way up here on the top of the advent calendar. And let's see. Oh, we have some more uh, equipment here. Some Something little. It's one of these things, like the little wildlife food. Here we go. She can hold on to that and bring that out to feed animals maybe. So we'll set that down by her as well. And now for day six, which is up here on top. Okay, looks like day six is a big one. Oh, how special. We have a horse. It looks like there's more items in there as well. So a beautiful Playmobil horse. And let's see something else here for the horse. Looks like perhaps a harness for the horse. So I've got the saddle, harness, and reins on the horse here. You just clip on nicely. Put that by her. And they do have um, instructions for everything that you find in here and how to put that together. Okay, so now let's find day seven. So here is day seven. Here is day seven. It is an adorable little teeny tiny bunny rabbit. That is so cute. I love how tiny and cute this little rabbit is, a little brown bunny. Put that out there. And now let's find window number eight. Day eight is down here. Ooh, it's a big window here. And it looks like we have a horse blanket here for the horse. Go ahead and set that aside there. And now for day nine. Here's day nine. Looks like we've got some horse food and maybe another little critter. So some hay. Oh, there is something here. And we've got a little teeny tiny mouse. The mouse can live in the barn. That's super cute. There we go. A little mouse and this little heart-shaped um, thing here for the grass to decorate the grass. So there we have the uh, hay and a cute little mouse. And at the end, I'll get everything set up and give you a nice close-up look at everything. Okay, so now for window number 10, day number 10. And that is way up here. And here is day 10, another beautiful woodland animal. This is a deer. Oh, that's so nice, a beautiful deer. Wow, okay, we'll put that out there with the fox. And next we have day 11. Okay, here is day 11. So it looks like we have a couple of carrot treats here. Carrots for the horses and maybe for the wildlife. So there's one carrot. Here's another carrot. There's carrot number two. That's cute. And for day number 12, here's day number 12. Okay, let's see what day number 12 is. And we have two absolutely adorable forest animals, little teeny tiny squirrels. We have one sitting up and one running along. That is very cute and very fun. I love squirrels. Yes, there's one and another. Now for day 13. Let's see, 13 is way up here on the top. And here is what was in window number 13. How cute. I think we have little fox babies here for the fox. Oh, that's so cute. Little baby fox. Put those out in the forest. And now for day 14, which is up here. We have this here. Let's see what this is. Okay, we have two things, a cute little bird a little bird, put that down here, and a carrot. And the carrot 
is for the snowman's nose. So as you can see, the snowman doesn't have a nose, but they put a nose in the advent calendar for the snowman. That is extra fun. So he's got a little three-dimensional nose now. I really love that. We're more than halfway through. Let's open up day 15. Here's what came in day 15. It looks like we have some supplies for the horse and barn. A little brush and a bucket here, a little bucket, and this here. So another little tool. Now for day 16, which is way up at the top. Okay, here's what's in here. Let's see, looks like a basket to put together. Okay, so here we have a basket for the carrots maybe. There's some carrots, we'll put those in the basket and set that down there. And now for day 17. Okay, here's 17. Let's see what this is. Oh, how fun. I think they're Christmas cookies. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Some fun Christmas cookies. But maybe they're for wildlife because it almost looks like they have seeds in them. So maybe they made special wildlife Christmas treats. We'll have to see um, what it says about that. And now for day 18, oh, we have an animal here. It is an owl, a cute little owl, and his feet are made so that they can sit on the tree back there. We'll go ahead and put him in the tree. There we go. So there is the owl up in the tree there. That's cute. And day 19, let's see here. Okay, here's day 19. We have some more accessories, it looks like. We have this here, looks like a carrying bag of some sort. It's a little bag. We also got some decorations for the horse here. So we'll go ahead and put those on the horse. Looks like some little stars for its uh, harness here. That's cute. And you could also choose this too if you'd like. So a couple of different choices there. That's fun. Keep those down by the horse so they don't get lost or maybe we'll end up putting them in here. Now for day 20. We have some more little decorations here. Let's see what these are. Okay, day 20 came with little bows and they are to decorate the tree in the back here. And I'll do that at the end. I'll get all the decorations put on. And now let's open day 21. Day 21 is down here at the bottom. Okay, so here's day 21. And it looks like we have some more ornaments for the tree. This is what they look like. We've got um, some things to hang ornaments from off of the tree and some little stars to hang on the tree. So we'll put those by the ornaments here and we'll get those all on the tree at the end here. And we have three days left. Let's go ahead and see day 22. Okay, day 22, and it looks like more ornaments. We've got some hooks and what look like little candies for the tree. I'll leave those in the bag until we decorate the tree with them. And then day 23, there's day 23. Oh, how fun, it looks like another animal. I love the animal surprises in these, that is so fun. And this is a little baby horse. And its head moves up and down. That's really cute, a little teeny tiny foal. We will set that down there. And for our very last day, that's always the biggest surprise here, I think. Day 24. Ooh, we've got part of the sled. As well as all the parts of the sleigh. I'll go ahead and open this up and get it all put together. Okay, so I got the sled all put together here. These are straps to hold down the basket there so she can go on a journey um, into the woods to feed the wildlife all of these fun treats here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, the horse hitched up to the sled and get everything ready for her to take a journey. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the tree out in the woods. I've put all the ornaments on the tree. There's a little owl hiding in the tree and the deer. I've got the dog there and the little squirrels and fox and a little bird there with the snowman along with the carrot in his nose. There's the horse, a little rabbit, 
all the stuff in the basket ready to go. The little tiny um, foal there in the barn and all the supplies that this came uh, with up in the loft as well as this cute little teeny tiny mouse up in the barn loft. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get the horse and the sled all put together and we'll be ready to take a journey into the Christmassy woods. Got the horse and sleigh all put together. I have filled the sled with her basket of wildlife goodies and she's even got a little um, container of wildlife food there, perhaps some bird seed. Her dog is walking along with her and her horse and they're about to head out into the snowy forest to leave some treats for the wildlife. I think that this Horses of Waterfall advent calendar was absolutely wonderful. I love all the pieces that we got in this set. I think that the horse and sled is so cute and all of the little animals that we got and the little um, figure here that we got are just so much fun. It was really fun to decorate the Christmas tree and the snowman and find all the accessories in all 24 of our advent calendar windows. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the Horses of Waterfall advent calendar as well. Let's take one more close-up look at the scene that we've set up here from our advent calendar. This is the perfect wintry scene to set up just in time for the holidays, the Horses of Waterfall Playmobil Advent Calendar. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this Playmobil Advent Calendar. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.